Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is tickable when paused? Let's go ahead and run our quick little example. When we hit play, we have things happening. Our character can move. Our little ball on the right, which is a blueprint, is using a timeline to go up and down. And our ball itself here is a physics object that bounces. Now I can adjust my time dilation, and we can slow things up or speed it up, but in our case we're going to be working with pausing. If I hit pause, we're going to find our physics object pauses, my player can't move, and then my timeline pauses. My game time itself pauses, but my tick delta, if you watch it carefully, is actually still moving. If we were to open up this blueprint, and we were to go to debug it, and we looked at the debug itself, you'll find our tick is still running. Now that is something to keep in mind. Your tick events are still going to run in the game. You're just not going to do anything with your delta value because of the fact it's basically going to zero it out when you pause your game. So that's how the pausing at a low level, high, at a high level works. Now I do have a button here called tickable. And if I click it, well, nothing's going to happen. I am telling my item to change its tickable. The problem is I don't have it set up properly inside my item. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. If we go into my item by going into my time, and we go into my bouncy ball, we're going to go ahead and look at a couple different things in here. Let's run our map. Let's go ahead and look at our bouncy ball and we'll notice our timeline is running properly. Well, our bouncy ball is running and bouncing up and down. Let's see if we move this. Let's see, we'll go like this. And we'll go like this. There we go. Oops, that was not the effect I wanted. There we go. So we see our timeline running as everything's running. We hit pause, and you're going to notice something happens. Well, it stops running. If I click the tickable button, well, it's now tickable while paused. It will run its tick. But keep in mind what I said here is this is our global value that we're basically adjusting when our pause runs. When we unpause, our global value is now working properly. We now have something to run our timeline off of. If we stop this, go back into our blueprint, and we actually hook up a tick node. So we're going to go ahead and type in event tick. And we're going to go ahead and print string. And we'll print out I am ticking. And we'll go ahead and bring this over here like this. And we'll go ahead and hit play. And you notice it, the ball says it's ticking. We'll pause it. And you'll notice I am ticking stops. And our event tick stops running. If we hit tickable, now you'll notice our event tick starts running again. And it says I am ticking. If we click tickable again, it's going to go ahead and stop. So that is something to keep in mind. When you tell something it can be tickable when paused, it's not going to just fix the global. Let's move this over here. It's not going to fix our global tick, our global delta, our global frame. Hey, everybody do something this frame. It's not going to fix that. It's not going to make that start working again. It's basically going to turn on the event tick node inside of your actor blueprint and allow it to run. So in this case, let's say we wanted this to run during the tick. We'd have to change basically our code to work differently. This is something to keep in mind. Tickable when paused has some very real restrictions. There's only certain things you're going to be able to do when something is tickable when paused. It's useful if maybe you want a brain to continue running while something's paused, maybe a timer or a counter, something that needs to specifically be running while the game is paused. Maybe you want to animate a animation, for example. You want a, you have a um, flag in the background that you're using for your pause screen and you want it to use some material animation to give it a waving effect. You want to make sure you maybe unpause an actor that drives that material effect. That's an example. So looking at our nodes, if we pull these up, it's pretty simple. If we type in tickable, T 
tick a bull and we look for it well we're not going to find it why can't we find it this is one of those ones where it's again hidden based on what it can be and you're going to find two nodes there's three of them here but this one's for a component not for an actor itself so we can ignore that we'll have our git tickable when paused which is going to return back a boolean if it is tickable when paused and we'll have our set tickable when paused which is basically a target and if it's on or off in our case i have a reference to my bouncy ball in my scene this little guy here and i'm basically telling it to become tickable when paused or not tickable using a flip-flop i'm basically saying yes tick don't yes tick or no don't tick anymore and that's all it is what it's going to do is it's going to go into your blueprint and if we were to go to our settings here and we look down here we have a setting called tick even when paused and if you notice it says it's very limited in capabilities if we were to actually print string and this is going to print out i am ticking if we were to go into our defaults again and check tick even when paused and hit play we're ticking we pause you'll notice it still continues to tick and if we were to go into here you'll notice it's still ticking all our node does set tickable when paused is flag it as tick even when paused and if you want it to work without our node it's under class defaults the advanced options under actor tick and you can check tick even when paused it's going to give you the same exact effect and that is going to wrap up our tickable when paused or tick when paused nodes and options remember it doesn't fix what happens when we pause it doesn't mysteriously or magically allow something to continue working properly or how it was when we pause it it's basically just going to open up the event tick node and allow the event tick node to fire off and continue running limitation wise if your item doesn't have a tick node it's not going to work when you turn on event will tick.